Starport v14 introduces persistent state, significantly improved handling of protobuf files, built-in faucet, and additional options to configure your chain in development. In front of me, I have a scaffolded Cosmos SDK blockchain with a single module. Let's add a custom module called blog. Next, let's create a type called post with title, body, and scaffolded inside the blog module. Finally, let's start the blockchain. Using the blockchain CLI, let's create a transaction with a blog post, broadcast it, and confirm that the post has been successfully created on chain. Now let's restart the chain. If we make the same query, we can see that the state including the post has been restored. We can make changes to the source code of our blockchain, and as long as the chain can import previous state, Starport will try to keep state persistence between restarts. In this version of Starport, we've added several new properties to the config file to further improve developer experience of building with Cosmos SDK. With build binary, you can now customize the name of your blockchain CLI. Starport will immediately restart and use the new binary to initialize and start the node. With init home property, you can set the path to the data directory. Starport will restart and use the new path to initialize the chain. Starport now has a built-in faucet that can be enabled with a faucet property. Name specifies the account that the faucet will use and coins set the default amount sent per request. You can also set the maximum amount of coins per address and customize the port number on which the faucet runs. You can send coins from the web UI, make HTTP requests to it directly from your front-end application, or use the faucet CLI. We've also improved how accounts are handled during Genesis. Now you can specify an account address. A key pair will not be created on the CLI, but the account will have tokens on balance, which is very handy if you already have a wallet for this address in your browser, for example. And finally, Starport now has much better support for protocol buffer files. Common protobuf files used by the SDK are now bundled with Starport, and the scaffold includes only the ones you need for your custom modules. Third-party protocol files can be added to a proto underscore vendor, and this can be customized through the config file. Starport will automatically detect changes in proto files, generate Go code from them, and restart the blockchain.